Welcome to Nicewares video on how to use the concatenate function. Many times while creating a label, multiple variable fields need to be combined together into a single text field or into a single barcode. First we're going to create our label by selecting File New in the menu. Once that label is created, you can double click anywhere blank on the label to bring up the label properties. We can then select the printer we'd like to use as well as create the dimensions of the label itself. We're just going to create a 6 by 4 inch label for demo purposes today. The next thing we have to do is create those different variables that we are going to use to combine together. Today we're going to create two different types of variables. We're going to create some variables uh, as a keyboard input and we're also going to utilize a little spreadsheet here or database connection that I have. As you see, it's just a Microsoft Excel workbook with three fields, the product code, description, and price. We're keeping it pretty simple here for our demo purposes. The first thing I'm going to do is connect to my database. Here I'm going to go to the Data menu. I'm going to select Database Access. I'm going to go ahead and use the wizard. I'm going to browse for my database, which is just called NiceLabel Products, and it's stored right on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and select OK. And I'm going to continue to follow the wizard by hitting Next. There are only three fields in my database, so I'm going to utilize all three. Some folks do use databases that contain many different fields, but they only need to utilize a few different fields for that particular label. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Next. And I'm going to actually select what record I want to print at print time. And I'm going to link these database fields to objects on my label later. And now I'm going to go ahead and select Finish. And Close. The next thing I'm going to do is go up to the data menu. I'm going to select variables and as you can see the three variables that I have in my database connection are listed there. I'm going to go ahead and create a new variable. I'm going to call it ID number. and I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and close this and I'm going to add one more variable field by going to the designing toolbar on the left and I'm going to add a new date field. I'm going to leave it formatted this way. I'm going to go ahead and hit finish and put it on my label. Now to use those different fields uh, we're going to combine them all into a single field or a few of those different variable fields into a single field. In order to do that, we're going to go to the data menu. We're going to select functions. I'm going to create a new function. That function is concatenate. We have to call it a name, so I'll just call it function 1. Under the Detailed tab, you can see on the left-hand side a list of all the variables we've created for this label so far. We have the date field we created, that keyboard input variable called ID number that we created, as well as the description, price, and product code right from my database. I have the ability now to select what variable I'd like to bring into this concatenate function and combine all into a single thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select the date, the ID, and we'll do the product code from the database. I'm going to go ahead and select OK, and I'm going to close that. Now when I go over to the left-hand toolbar, and I hit the little arrow next to the barcode, and I go down to Use Existing Variable, you'll see that my concatenate function is listed right there. If I drop that on the label, and I make this bigger so everyone can see, you'll see these are the three fields that we combined. If I double click, I can then change the symbology of this barcode. So I can change it. A lot of times uh, people will change it to a two-dimensional barcode when you have a lot of different fields because you can store more information in a two-dimensional barcode. I'm just going to leave this a one-dimensional barcode and we can do um, something else. If I go to the data menu and I go to my functions and I hit edit, now that that concatenate function is created, I have the ability to put a delimiter as well. Um, now I have no delimiter. If I hit other, I can go ahead and select a pipe. I'm 
I'm going to select a pipe and you'll see that that comes up and delimits the information right here. We can also add this concatenate function as a text box. It does not have to be a barcode. So if I go to a text box, I can go down to use existing variable. I can select my concatenate. And as you see, all three of those are listed um, with the pipe as a delimiter. So if I do a file print, I can key in the ID number. I can select the record from the database which I would like to print. And if I preview my label, you will see it prints today's date, the information I keyed in, as well as the product code for the record I selected from my database. That concludes that tutorial today. Thank you for using NiceLabel Pro. Thank you.